Hi, welcome to my channel, JabberTime. Uh, this is a second video for double integral. This has more uh, examples, not just like squares, uh, as regions under the curve or the surface. We're going to talk about double integrals over general regions. And as you could see, the two formulas lengthy to read, but they're being called type 1 and type 2. Let's take care of it and see some examples. Some type 1 regions. This is one form, as you could see. When you take care of it this way, when you go up and down, you are above y1 and below y2. Where y1 and y2 are functions. So when you integrate with delta y with respect to y, you will have a function of y here and a function of y here or y1 I mean it's going to be a function of x and y2 would be a function of x as g1 of x and g2 of x because it says g1 of x and g2 of x once you finish right here your total function will be a function of x that will be ready for the next integration Something you want to keep in mind is when you go dy first, you're going with y. So you might want to put an R right here to help you memorize that you're going to go with y, which is called type 1. When you come to the dx, look at the limits. They are constants from A to B, from A to B, from A to B. It's not from a curve to another curve. So always keep that in mind. This is a function of one variable, max, this is a constant. We're going to see more of that when we deal with triple integration in a few sections coming from now. Here's type 2. Type 2, you want to go with X first. When you go with X, you have a curve under you and you have a curve above you. So we're going this way. The arrow will be going this way. X will be H1 of Y, a function of Y. X will be a function of Y as H2 of Y. As you could see, everything will be when you finish in terms of Y, so you could integrate with respect to Y. But look at the Y limits. They're going constant from C to D. Exactly from C to D. From C to D. Okay? Now, one thing that students might make a mistake is you have to know that you're going this way. That means this will go down at the bottom and this will go at the top. You can't switch them. If you switch them, you're doing something different like you know when you have like in calculus one two functions you have to know which one is above and which one's below to go from y1 to y2 same idea but because this one is kind of like sideway which one is below well if you are here you're moving this way and that is below and that is above constants just keep that in mind let's uh, see some practical examples in detail Evaluate the double, double integral of x plus 2y, that, that is my surface, which is a plane, where d is the region bounded by the parabolas, 2x square and 1 plus x square. Now, one thing about this section and the coming sections is you need to take your time and practice enough about graphs. Because if you don't know your limitations, your graph uh, limits, where they cross and how to go, which one is below, which one is above, where do they meet, you can't build the integration. You can't finish it. This is not an integration. This is generic one. It doesn't give you what's da. That means you are on your own to go dx dy or dy dx. Also, this one right here, it doesn't tell you which one are we using. Are we using type 1, type 2? Are we using H1, H2? 
are using G1, G2, are using A and B or C and D. So you have to be careful. But I'm sure this is a quick example about 2x to the second and 1 plus x to the second, how to graph it. Here's the graph to save you some time. This is a parabola centered at the origin or vertex at the origin y1 equals 2x to the second. It's uh, narrower than 1x to the second being shifted up one unit. That's why they meet. Look at the arrow that I was talking about. Once you go up this way, that's called type 1. And you need always to practice and say to yourself which one goes first and which one goes second. Does it go dx then dy or dy dx? You have to be careful. So our double integral becomes dy dx because we are moving with y. We're going from y1 to y2. We use dy. This is below 2x to the second. This is above 1 plus x to the second. One more time, if you switch them, that's not right. If you switch these numbers, they're not right. You have to go from x1 to x2 at the end, from negative 1 to 1, not from 1 to negative 1. I'm slowing down, as you could see right here, because that's the main concept of this section. How do you see the graph and how do you see this right here? If it's not given to you, if it's given to you like this, you need to build it. You need to know what goes here and here. Does this goes with that? Or if you switch these two and you keep those here, that's not right also. After that, it's just like regular integration. I have all the steps. You could slow down and copy it or take a look at it. But I want to go faster after building each integration. Here we go. We take care of the inside part. Integrate. Treat x as a constant. x becomes xy. Take your time and plug those in the way we want it, the way we know it. Instead of using bigger brackets, I distributed the minus sign, finish it, and that's what I have. But that's the inside part. Now we go back to the problem. The problem has the blue part, which is for dx. We take this, put it inside. We know how to integrate with respect to x. It's a polynomial. We take it term by term. Plug in the numbers negative 1, 1, and you get 32 over 15. Let's take some more examples. This time they say find the volume. So you have to be careful. If the graph is crossing the x axis or x and y axis and going down, it's not going to be a volume, like the area. If the curve is above the x-axis it will be called area but if the curve goes from one uh, you're asked to integrate from one to five but at two it crosses the x-axis and part of it is below that's not going to be the area you have to partition it and so on so here they say find the volume they know what they're doing and this is a x square plus y square so it's a parabola in three dimension that opens up with the vertex at 0, 0, 0. We don't have to see it in 3D, but we need to take care of that. This is my domain. And we are going, what, type 1 or 2? That's type 1. So we do dy first. We're going with y. I'm uh, writing this because I want to save you some time. You know how to find the intersection points if they're not given to you. You set y1 equals y2. Put them on one side, factor, and you get 0 and 4. Once you get 0 for y and 4 for y, you could go back to either 1 and find x. So I have 2 times 2 will give me 4. 
as if x is 2, y is 4. And of course, 0 will give me 0. Okay, now let's take care of the problem step by step. It says right here, I was not reading it. Find the volume of the solid that lies under the paraboloid C equals x squared plus y squared and above the region D in the xy plane bounded by the line y equals 2x and the parabola y equals x to the second. I don't need to graph it on the left side as you could see because I'm bounded by this line. And this is, as I say, type 1. Here are the steps. Uh, if you feel like I'm going too fast, well, at least at the end of the this slide, you could just pause and look at the notes all as one package. That's how we write it down. We're going to go dy first because we are going up and down, as you could see. dy first. Below. Below x to the second. Above is 2x. And those are constants from 0 to 2. See the 2 right there? That's my 2. Take care of the inside part. Find the integral or integrate with respect to y. Treat x as a constant. So x squared becomes x squared y. Finish it. Apply the minus sign and be careful. And that's what we have. After that, as I always say, let's go back to the problem. We take that inside and we integrate with respect to x from 0 to 2. Take your time, plug in the numbers, and we have 216 over 35. Now, sometimes some problems you could do it either way. You could do it type 1, you could do it type 2. Uh, sometimes one type will be easier than the other. Let's do it for this problem because we can and type 2 uh, just for the benefit of practicing type 1 and type 2. Uh, I would say type 1 is easier. Uh, you'll see that in just a second, but it's up to you. Let's take a look. This would be type 2 because I'm going with the arrow with the x-axis. Notice that you have to rewrite the functions. You have to go from x1 to x2. So if y equals x to the second, x equals square root, not plus minus. We're not going to go both ways. And if y equals 2x, x will become half y. We're going to go with dx first, from x1 to x2, dx first. This is the lower function, and this is the upper function. And notice the y values, which has to be constants from 0 to, uh, sorry, the y values from 0 to 4. 4 is my highest. You have to be careful. You're going to go from 0 to 2 or 0 to 4. Since it's y at the end, from 0 to 4, all the way up to 4. After that, it's steps, so I'm going to go a little bit fast. Take care of the inside part. Integrate. Plug in x equals square root of y. That's probably why I said the first one is easier. Take care of the minus signs. And now we'll go back to the problem. Put everything in and go dy from 0 to 4. Same answer, 216 over 35. Here's another problem that you don't have a choice. Either you take type 1, that works, or type 2, that works. But sometimes it doesn't work both ways. Let's take a look. Evaluate the double integral of xy, where d is the region bounded by the line y equals x minus 1 and the parabola y square equals 2x plus 6. This is the region. 
if you go type 1 going up and down with y here I could do it but here is a problem the lower one and the upper one are part of the parabola but take a look the lower one is minus square root of 2x plus 6 and the upper one is square root of 2x plus 6 which is a little bit tough as you could see where on the other hand type 2 you're gonna go every time this is clearly below you and this is clearly above you so we're gonna do it type 2 also for type 1 if you want to do it you have to break it into two regions do this first and do the second then add them up where here it's going to be one integration now y equals x minus 1 is a line that has a slope of 1 and y intercept of negative 1 intersects here at negative 1 and 1 giving you some ideas about the graphs because as I said, without understanding graphs, uh, it's hard to start the problem. So here we go. y square equals 2x plus 6. If you want to rearrange it and solve for x, as you could see, subtract 6 from both sides, divide by 2. Rewrite this without the big fraction. I have one half y to the second minus three. Usually we don't see it this way. We see y equals half x squared minus three, not the other way around. But let's just take you step by step quickly to refresh your memory and show you how to graph it by hand. Because you can't graph this on the calculator this way. All right. You do want to plug in x equal, let's see. So anyway, here's y equals x to the second. Here's x equals y to the second. This opens up, this kind of like same idea opens up, but to the x. This opens up to the y. When you have half, it's going to be wider. It's not shown much here, but you just have to keep an idea step by step. That's what will be like slowing you down, so it's going to be wider. When you subtract 3, you're going to shift it down, if you call it that way, like going down, 3 units. And that's my graph. My graph is down to negative 3, it's right there. And it opens up, because it says x equals positive half y to the second. Okay, let's uh, let me show you more. Same problem y equals x minus 1, y square equals 2x plus 1. Rearranging, that's x equal. Rearranging, that's x equal. Putting x equals x, the blue one and the green one. Do all the necessarily algebra steps. You will get y equals negative 2 and y equals 4. When y equals negative 2, you could plug it in here to find x. When y equals 4, you could plug it in here to find x. And now I have the two points. Those are the points of intersection. 5, 4, 5, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2. Okay. So the points of intersection is part of the work of any problem in most of the problems like this one and going this way we call it type 2 let me show you more details about this graph we're going type 2 this is below writing it as x equal this is above writing it as x equal and after that we're gonna go dy dy goes from y equals negative 2 all the way to y equals 4. Now, let's work out the problem. I have the integral 
we're going this way first from x equal to x equal from x below to x above dx first that's called type 2 and the y is constants from negative 2 to 4 from negative 2 up to 4 we take care of the inside part we integrate with respect to x we treat y as a constant x to the second over 2 plug in the values or the expressions simplify and that goes inside the integration after we go back to the problem and take care of dy that is what i have from here i took the half all the way outside with respect to y we know how to integrate a polynomial and plug in negative 2 to 4 and that should do it one more time i did my best not to go over 30 minutes and it's like about 22 minutes that should do it and thank you i'll see you in the next one thank you thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to see some more and i'll see you in the next one